All right, so finally, two years later, I have finally got myself a little project car. And I already started working on it, but um, I figured I'd grab the camera and start making a video just to document the process here. It's an O2 IS300 Sport Cross, which is super cool. I've actually owned another one of these like six or seven years ago. This is my second Sport Cross, but this one is uh, extra special. Um, I got a good deal on it. I don't know if this is gonna be like a like a flip car where I fix it up and, and sell it, or if this is gonna be like a, a car that I hang on to and have fun with at the track and, and do some driving in. But I'm really excited to get this. It's been such a long time since I've had a project car. And a lot of, a lot of my followers started following me from the one Jay-Z project from like four years ago. So um, that car is, is long gone and I'm really glad to be back in an IS300 chassis. And even more cool, it's a Sport Cross. So I got this car um, a couple days ago. Um, got a really good deal on it. It came with a bunch of cool parts. I'll give you the rundown on it. Uh, let's see here. I'm in Michigan, so like a rust-free car is important. This car is from Florida. It's a really clean car. It's pretty much stock and these Kansi wheels here, I'm not really into them. I don't like running fake wheels. So those hopefully will go sometime soon. Oh, it's got a bunch of cool JDM parts. So uh, JDM headlights that obviously need to be refinished. This is an OEM grill. Um, I got all the grill pieces right here. It's a black interior, which is awesome. And the also the extra bonus is it's a manual. So as you see there, we got a, we got a manual transmission. It's got an R154 from Drift Motion. Less than 8,000 miles on this transmission. So it's got a brand new trans, which is great. And the black interior is a huge plus. Interior definitely needs some, some work and some cleaning up. So um, that's on the list right now. But right now I'm trying to get the exterior sorted out. So OEM, JDM, TRD side skirts, JDM fenders. This is the JDM Neo V1 front bumper, which is really cool. Um, definitely a bonus. Uh, JDM rear bumper and rear bumper lip here. So we got tons of tons of cool JDM parts. They just need to be just need to be painted. They're just like they're nasty. I mean, obviously they're factory paint from from Japan. So right now I'm just trying to get the car primed, and I'm going to use white primer, and I'm going to install the body panels back on the car just so it's all one color, and I can like start daily driving it. The uh, rear fenders here were rolled and primed, and I assume there was some body work done here. There's like really high build primer that's cracked, so that needs to be sanded and redone. And then also over here, um, what I was told is the fenders were rolled. It wasn't a good job and it has been fixed, but that's where I'm at right now, just trying to get it all one color. And uh, just some minor things like uh, there's a bunch of loose interior. It feels like you're driving like a clapped out Honda. There's a bunch of loose stuff like bouncing around and squeaking and rattling. Um, so I was going to put the uh, Euro lines on tonight, but I just found out that we got, you know, extended wheel studs here. And because of the, the style of the center cap, I can't put my center caps on with the extended wheel studs. So it looks like I'm back to rocking these Kansi wheels, which I'm not really into those at all. But I don't know, maybe I'll buy another set of wheels. Maybe I can sell these and get another set, or I mean, I guess I can cut those ARPs to fit the, the work Euro lines. I really wanted to go, like I'm really not into the Neo, like the JDM front end. I mean, I like the headlights and stuff, but um, I don't know, the Neo bumper is cool, but the, the thing I don't like about it is the, the center plate mount there. So if I do run the Neo front bumper, I think I'd like to delete the, uh, the plate mount there, but I'm afraid that might hurt the value of the bumper too, because I mean, if you're in IS 300s, you know how much this front end goes for. It's like, it's really highly sought after. So we got the, the factory grill, obviously. Um, it's all steel, needs to be refinished a little bit there. Uh, these are all the, the Neo, the grills for the Neo bumper. And then another big money shot here is these, uh, these are OEM, uh, Neo rainbow fogs. So these are like a big deal. Like everybody wants these. So I'm super stoked to have these. So I'm not sure what, 
what route I'm going to go with it. Like, I bought the car and I was like, oh, like the JDM parts are cool, but I'd really like to do like a BN kit on this because like the Euro lines with like a hot boy aero kit, you know, really low, really cool. That's kind of my style. But um, for right now, I think I'm just going to rock the Neo stuff, the JDM stuff, get it all one color and then regroup once I get it all painted and um, maybe grab like a, like a, like a BN kit and have it painted when I, when I paint the whole car too. So I don't know. But um, just wanted to do one cut and update the, the channel. I got a sport cross. That's what we're working on like indefinitely. This is gonna be pretty low budget for now. Um, just get it one color, get it primed, get this car a really nice coat of paint because it deserves it. It's a really nice car. And then, I mean, I don't know if I wanna go 1J again. Like 1J prices are, they are out of control. When I did the 1J swap on the black car four years ago, I think I got that swap. I don't remember exactly what I paid. I made a video on it. Like, I think I got that swap for like 1600 bucks shipped to my door for a JZS 171 VVTi 1J. Like low mile, beautiful swap. Now they're like five grand or more. Um, but the main thing is with this car is I got the R154. It's got the brand new drift motion R154. So if I do go JZ, I got the transmission to back it up or like maybe I'll go 3UZ. Like three UZs are still like affordable and they make tons of power just from the factory. They're really reliable. So maybe I'll go three UZ. I don't know, but this is the car and this is the project. Just figured I'd give you guys an update and uh, I hope you guys enjoy and you know, stay tuned because I'm going to be working on this thing throughout the whole summer and probably big things coming next winter.